Hi guys, what's going on? My name is Teamstar and today I'm going to show you some progress on the iOS 7 jailbreak. Some days ago Windows CM has updated his OpenSnow jailbreak tool which is open source and now it can patch the iOS 7 kernel on the iPhone 4 and that's what I'm going to show you here. Um, you see the white iPhone is my iPhone 4S there I have an SSH client running um, behind the, bo the little box that's my Raspberry Pi and on the left side that's my iPhone 4 and OpenSnow you can only run on a Linux box it doesn't work on a Mac yet and that's why I'm running in on my Raspberry Pi and I'm connecting my iPhone 4S um, via SSH to show you all terminal output. Um, yeah, now we are booting the iOS 7 kernel uh, using Open Snow, and the only thing Open Snow does is patch the kernel and boot your device. There are no tools installed on your iPhone. That means if you want to create a jailbreak on your own, you need to install every tool, um, you need to copy every tool using a SSH RAM disk to your phone manually and you need to set up them manually. That means that's not a user friendly jailbreak. But I wanted to show you that to show the progress. Um, yeah, some things, some things are working but Sudia is broken. Sorek already um, works on the patch but he told me that he won't release Sudia until a user-friendly public jailbreak tool is released. That means no Sudia so far or for now. Sorry for my English by the way. And yeah. iOS 7 almost booted up and um, mobile substrate is also broken that means most tools won't work but on my iPhone 4 I have apt installed and dp kg g sorry for my pronunciation and that means I can install every package in theory with the terminal uh, yeah and I installed mobile terminal and iFile which works great on iOS 7 and I'm gonna show you mobile terminal now also OpenSSH is installed on my iPhone 4 uh, now we're opening op uh, mobile terminal and here we can type zoo yeah root access works I managed to fix the problem um, that was a permission error, I think. I uh, tweeted it out. And if I type who am I, we see we are root. And we can also type uname um, minus a. And we see our test iPhone 4. Uh, my model is iPhone 3, 3 1. And yeah. Also, ls is working. We can look around the directories. And yeah, now I'm gonna show you iFile. Yeah, let's close mobile terminal. Yeah, here's iFile. And it works great, you see. Um, here are some directories. I don't know. Yeah, the registration of I file failed. Um, yeah, that needs to be fixed. Even if you purchase I file, uh, you can't use the full version because there are some errors. But with the free version, there are a lot of things which are working great. Here you see dpkg and apt, which I have set up on my iPhone 4. And yeah, now I'm gonna show you um, OpenSSH. Therefore, I'm looking for a folder. Yeah, let's use documents. 
and now I'm gonna connect with my iPhone 4s to my iPhone 4 via OpenSSH and let's type the IP address and connect now we trust the key and login is root and the default password is alpine and you see it's working we have a connection now we gonna cd to the same directory because i wanna create a test file and show it to you that i really connected to this iphone and not to some random iphone or computer in my network and we're gonna create a file called test.txt and here I'm typing hello welt yeah that's German because I also made a German version of this video and here you see my test file now we can open it with the text viewer and you see hello welt same like hello world but German obviously and yeah that's it um, I can show you Studio uh, here I'm showing apt um, up get update to update the lists there you see up this working fine I could install some packages if I would want yeah now Studio it uh, sadly doesn't work right now you see it crashes instantly like I said Soric is working on it and yeah that's about it um, also I um, think I was showing here respring which doesn't work like I wanted because we can kill all springboard but the problem is that if we install an app like iFile I don't see it on the home screen so I need to reboot completely um, to see the app icon anyway I'm showing you kill all springboard it's basically spring but without the recache that's about it guys for more updates subscribe to this youtube channel follow me on twitter I will tweet as soon as something interesting happens I usually tweet on english or in english yeah that's about it stay tuned guys and see you